Okay, you guys, I just woke up and I have been praying for snow. And I thought my husband was joking when he said, it's a whiteout outside and it's snowing. Oh my gosh, there's so much snow and it's still coming down. And yes, I am outside in my pajamas down to the slippers still, but this is just so rare where I live. I have to go and try and catch some snowflakes. Okay, now I do have some errands to run, so I'm gonna get bundled up in my favorite cozy outfit. That'd be Banjo squeaking his new Christmas toy. And get bundled up in my favorite cozy outfit and go out, do my errands, come home, and probably make either a cup of tea or some other warm treat. And then I will get started on building my perfect snow day cozy corner to pull up in and, and read one of the books I've been scrambling to finish before the new year. Okay, so I just got home from getting my COVID booster, I'm running some errands, Lola got a haircut, and I checked the mail, and I am so excited about this package. It's one of my delayed Christmas presents because it came from the UK, and I'm so excited I want to open it with you guys. Okay, so I found out about cottagecore things a little while ago when I started going down the whole cottagecore YouTube rabbit hole and everything about it just brings me so much joy from the old vintage style dresses and the simple way of living and tea and books and so I started eyeing some of the dresses on this website and they were a little bit pricey. So I definitely made sure that if I was gonna get one, I got it as a gift because I definitely couldn't justify buying it for myself. But I am so happy and so grateful when it arrived. And the sizing is also a little weird if you do order from this site, you definitely want to size up in whatever you order but I swear as soon as I put it on, I just felt like Belle in the French countryside ready to go into the village and get a baguette and sit down and read a book or something like that. to make ourselves a cozy little nook. This is actually our workout slash book room that's in a bedroom that's almost too small to be a spare bedroom. But anyway, my dream has always been to actually have one of those built-in window seats that you can sit in and read and watch the snow out of the window right in front of you. But this is almost the next best thing to that, I guess. No matter where you're living, in your dream house, in a temporary housing situation, a rental, or wherever really. I do hope this video inspires you to bring some cozy, intentional decorating to a small corner where you can just be and read or meditate or drink your tea and watch the snow outside whatever window you have this winter. The best part about this cozy nook is that you can do this for relatively cheap or free if you already own a bunch of your own throw rugs, pillows, or blankets. 
Most of these rugs that I'm using are just leftover decorations from our wedding this fall that we definitely got for under $15, if not under $10 a piece. And without further ado, now it's time to grab your favorite book you're currently reading and cozy in. Well, I guess that is unless you're like me and as soon as you sat down to start reading, you realized that you had a sudden and dire urge to bake a treat to enjoy while doing so. It is of my personal opinion that it wouldn't be winter without all of the flavors of winter. So the first thing that generally comes to my mind is cinnamon and nutmeg and clove. Basically all of those really warm spices that are going to be in any kind of spiced dessert. So what better dessert could you make than some authentic homemade cinnamon rolls. Uh, in this case, the recipe that I found is actually from a book on the Swedish philosophy, I suppose, of Lagom. Lagom is similar to Hygge or uh, Sisu. It's just another one of those Scandinavian concepts that all kind of have the same idea at heart of not too much, not too little, but just enough and being content with the simple things, the cozy things that bring you home and ground you in the present moment and bring you the little joys from those things. So uh, I can go ahead and link that book down below in the description for you as well. It's a really good one to check out. It just goes over a lot of aspects of Swedish living that incorporate this concept of lagom, but there does happen to be an excellent recipe for her Swedish grandmother's uh, homemade cinnamon rolls. One of the things that makes a true authentic Swedish cinnamon roll different from our Americanized Pillsbury Doughboy canned cinnamon rolls is that you should actually add a little bit of ground cardamom to the dough itself. This gives it just a little bit of a more intense flavor, a little more structure, and I think it makes it even more delicious. But if that's way too strong of a flavor for you, you can totally skip that step. It is or is not included in some of the recipes. But this is definitely the most fun part, is the spreading uh, of the melted butter and brown sugar cinnamon mixture on your rolled out dough. I took quite a long time to do this, mostly because it was just so satisfying to spread it all the way across the dough and get it super even. I'm a little OCD when it comes to steps in baking like this, but it was still so fun. <laughs> I will also suggest if you do decide to make your own cinnamon rolls as well, definitely roll the dough even tighter than I did in this video. You want to get as many swirls as possible uh, for your cinnamon rolls to expand and make that shape. You can honestly even just fold that dough in half once you have your brown sugar cinnamon mixture on it 
and cut it into strips and twist those strips first and roll them in on itself for a more authentic texture. I actually intended to do that but just got so swept up in following the instructions that it was already rolled before I remembered what I actually wanted to do with the dough. But then always remember that you need to cover them with a clean tea towel and let them rise and prove again for another 45 minutes before you try to egg wash them or put them in the oven to bake. Another tip if you want to make your cinnamon rolls even more authentic, I unfortunately did not have access to any pearl sugar here at any of our grocery stores, but if you can find authentic Belgian pearl sugar, uh, it definitely has a distinct look. They look like little sprinkles almost. Putting those on before you pop them in the oven to bake will give it that really authentic Swedish little bit of crunch when you bite into it. But if not, making your own icing out of some water and powdered sugar whisk together works just as well. I was honestly amazed at how easy it was to follow this recipe. Every time I see something where it involves yeast and proving bread, I get a little bit skeptical, but the end result was so delicious and so worth it. As you can tell, Lola is also quite envious of my cinnamon roll. But I had such a wonderful day getting cozy and baking and enjoying the snow with you all. If you want to see more videos, please be sure to hit that subscribe and like button for me. I'm looking forward to maybe doing a giveaway soon so we can hit 100 subscribers. But until next time, bye friends.